Hey you guys, it's Barrett with Project Book Vlogger, and today I am reviewing Rot and Ruin by Jonathan Mayberry. Um, one of our followers, um, R-I-W-K-M-S, I don't know how to say your username. Anyway, he messaged us and recommended that we read and review the book. Um, it is a zombie book, and so he kind of gave us a heads up that that's the genre that it was, and when I got the message, I was kind of hesitant because zombie lit is not my favorite genre. Um, I realized it is an increasingly popular uh, subject of books in young adult literature right now, and I had read The Forest of Hands and Teeth, which I don't recall the author right now, but uh, it is also zombie lit, and I didn't like it. Um, but since he asked us to review it, I decided to go ahead and give it a shot. Um, and so I checked it out at my local library, and I loved it. It was probably one of the best zombie books that I had read or been aware of. Um, it takes place in a post-apocalyptic world, uh, I believe in California, um, and tells the story of a boy named Benny. Benny is 15 years old and lives in a village where... When she turned 15, you have to find a job or else your rations get cut in half. Um, so Benny goes out and tries to find a job and re initially refuses to join the family business with his older brother um, because he hates the idea of what his older brother does, which is killing zombies. Um, he continues to try and find a job, but um, he just can't find one that meets his personality. So begrudgingly, Benny joins his brother, Tom, in the family business and becoming a closer. Um, as Benny spends time with Tom, he realizes that Tom just doesn't go out and kill zombies. He actually closes cases for families who have family members out there that are zombies. Um, so there is a more of a, an emotional aspect that Benny sees as he spends more and more time with Tom. What I really liked about this book was that it's not just zombie lit. It's not just gore and guts and killing. There's also a very much of a coming of age story and it tells the emotional aspect of what life would be in a zombie apocalypse. Um, think, Benny reminds me a lot of Holden Caulfield in Catcher on the Rye, but with zombies. <laughs> He, he's growing up and he's trying to decide what is right and wrong in a world where right and wrong have been completely thrown out the window. Um, and he asks serious questions. And not only does Jonathan Mayberry tackle questions that normal teenage boys deal with growing up, like life and love and marriage and family and all these, but, but he also tackles issues with regarding morality. And are these zombies actually people or are they just dead walking bodies? And do you treat them like people? And in the forest, the rotten ruin where the zombies live, um, there are no set laws and everything's kind of relative. And so there is a lot of moral corruption and there are very bad people that do very bad things and Benny starts to see that. Um, you see the growth of Benny from a cynical young boy to a man who understands duty and loyalty and um, family and love and courage and bravery and all these good qualities that you see in a character that starts from nothing and blossoms into something much, much greater. I really liked this book because, like I said before, it is a zombie book and it is exciting, but it also tells a much greater story. And Mayberry has the style of writing where you realize that these that people are zombies and they, they are fighting, but you almost have an emotional sympathy for these people that were zombies. And they're less monstrous and more human, which I really liked. Um, in the state of Oklahoma, Rotten Ruin is on the Sequoia Master List for high school readers. So I know a lot of kids are picking this book up in libraries, uh, which is very exciting. I also think students, you could also springboard this if you are teaching Catcher in the Rye in high school, which is a rare thing because Catcher in the Rye is kind of controversial, but you can tie characters like Holden Caulfield and like Benny, who have such a cynical view of the world initially, and you can 
talk about their thoughts and the symbolism in their thoughts about how they view society. Overall, this is a great book. I encourage anyone to read it. It might be good for reluctant readers, too, who are at upper levels of high school. Um, because it is zombie lit, and that is a very popular thing these days among young adult readers. Um, soon, I hope to be reviewing, I've been reading a lot of great books lately. Um, I really want to review a book called Aristotle and Dante, Discover the Secrets of the Universe. It was one of the best books I've read all summer, and I really, really liked it, so I can't wait to review that. But um, hopefully I will get that video out soon. But thank you for your request for reviewing that book. Um, I wouldn't have picked it up otherwise, and I'm really glad I did, so thank you. Um, if you have any more requests or feedback, feel free to send Amanda or I a message, and um, we would love to hear from you guys. So, thank you so much.